everybody. So I'm in the process of going up to the County of San Luis Obispo. And the reason is, is because there are some laws in place right now and rules in place that didn't used to have to be there. In this situation, I'm actually going up because in the area of Napomo, we have a septic system and they're requiring now that a permit be pulled if there's any kind of repairs that are necessary for the septic system. So that's what I'm in the process of doing right this moment. But the new other rule and law that's happening throughout the whole state of California is that we have low flow. Now, when we have low flow, this impacts your shower heads, this impacts toilets, this impacts you know faucets and things like that. The challenging part is, is that depending upon the age of the property, that may mean that you as a seller or a buyer, because just because it's a law doesn't mean that the seller has to take care of it. Sometimes the buyers can take care of it. And that's one of the things that a lot of people are really not all that aware of is that whenever you have a repair or something that's required, it's negotiable. It can be at a seller's expense or at a buyer's expense, but the idea is that it's still negotiable. So some of the laws that are in place right now when transferring a property, whether you're buying it or selling it, is that the water heaters are braced and strapped, and there's new rules in that requirement. So even if it was done in the past, we wanna make certain and pay attention to whether it's done correctly now. The other thing is that they wanna make certain that you have smoke detectors in the appropriate places. And the new codes and requirements are that they're in every bedroom. But that's a code requirement, not necessarily a law. It is a law that you have a smoke detector. It is a law that you have a carbon monoxide tester. And then it's up to the lenders as to what their requirement is. The other law that's now here is having to do with low flow. But the thing is, a bit, again, with low flow is, again, that could be a buyer or seller expense. And in San Luis County, it, it, or excuse me, Santa Barbara County, it's now a requirement to have risers on septic systems. Well, that means that, again, that's in place, but again, that can be at a buyer's expense or a seller's expense. So just because it's a law and a rule doesn't mean that one party has to do it but it does mean that it has to be done before you close escrow. Now, certain things happen in San Luis County. They have certain things signed off and certain things happen in Santa Barbara County. And if you're not in either of those two counties, you'll wanna make certain that you check to see what your county and city ordinances are and requirements are. So this is just some things to think about and know about throughout the process, whether you're buying or selling a home know the rules, know the regulations, and understand that even if it is a rule, a law, or a regulation, it doesn't have to be necessarily at a seller expense. That could potentially help you in the negotiations if you're buying, and that also could potentially be something you want to you know, take care of in advance if you're selling. This is called Krista, OIC Real Estate Services. We're here to help you see your dreams come true and be your resource. If you have any questions of what might happen to be important in you, your area, or to you, or in your town, give us a call. We'll be happy to give you that information, 805-201-2777, or email me, callkrista at gmail.com. That's C, call with a C, Krista with a K, at gmail.com. And Let's see if we can give you that information. As always, have an amazingly blessed day. Bye.